3D Connection 3D Mice provide a superior way to interact with digital content in engineering, design and architectural applications. Using a 3D mouse makes you feel more connected to your model or environment, enabling you to stay in the zone for longer and achieve more in less time. You also use your regular mouse a lot less, reducing the risk of repetitive strain injury. In other words, it's a much more comfortable and rewarding 3D experience. At the heart of every 3D Connection 3D mouse is the controller cap. It's really very simple. Gently push, pull, twist and tilt the cap. It's like holding the 3D model in your hand. You become much more immersed in the design and develop a deeper understanding of your model. It's worth noting that the 3D mouse does not replace your regular mouse. They work together in a balanced and cooperative work style. For instance, have you ever tried to peel an apple with one hand? It's much easier when you hold and position the apple with one hand whilst peeling it with the other. Using both hands at the same time is something we do naturally and it's the core ethos of the 3D mouse workflow. Whilst it's possible to use 3D applications with a regular mouse only, there's lots of repetitive clicking and moving. As you can see, it's only possible to draw or navigate, and navigation is restricted to one movement at a time. There's definitely a better way. Let's do the same thing again using the Space Mouse Pro. The regular mouse continues to do what it's really good at, moving the cursor to select menu items and to draw and edit while the 3D mouse positions the model. Don't be put off by this two-handed workflow. It only takes a short time to get used to and soon feels perfectly natural. There is a learning curve when first using a 3D mouse, but this can be significantly shortened by understanding how the controller cap moves and how this affects the model. The controller cap moves on six different axes. Panning left and right and zoom probably takes the most practice as you need to slide the cap parallel to the desktop. Slide forwards and backwards to zoom out and in. Try not to tilt the cap at the same time as this will roll the model while zooming. The same applies to sliding the cap left and right. This movement pans the model left and right, but any tilting of the cap will result in the model tilting also. Panning up and down is easy. Simply lift the cap up and down to pan the model up and down. It is possible to restrict movement to one axis at a time, but most users prefer the richer experience of being able to use all axes simultaneously. Once you've got to grips with panning and zooming, you can really start to explore your model. Tilt the cap forwards and backwards to tilt the model forwards and backwards. Tilt left and right to tilt the model left and right. Twisting the cap clockwise and anti-clockwise rotates the model clockwise and anti-clockwise. As I said before, it doesn't take long to get used to and you'll soon wonder how you ever worked without a 3D mouse. In this video I introduced the basics, but there's more to learn to ensure you start using your 3D mouse as quickly as possible. In the next video, I'll explain how you can really reduce the learning curve by holding the cap correctly. Mm -hmm.